As soon as I'm getting myself together, I didn't think that she was going to write at me. Hey, hey Kendra. We can't see your face. Okay, let me get myself together. Let me, um, I didn't think you were going to add me right away. Okay. Yeah, I came on your show before. Oh, you did? I need an update. Yeah. I, need a, I need better light, though, baby. I, I am. Give me one, one second. Let me put my shirt on. Because I literally didn't think you was going to request that fast. I didn't request you. I answered I mean, you. answer that fast. I'm sorry. Okay. Give me a second. Give her a second. Thank you for being patient. Okay. <laughs> what is your name? I can start writing some stuff down. Uh, Brianna. Brianna. Anna, where are you calling me from? Baltimore. How old are you? 28. What you do for a living? I am a part-time phlebotomist, and I work in retail. A part-time phlebotomist? Yes. Can you see me now? Okay, yeah. We got the blonde, we blonde sisters today. Ooh. I need better light, though. Maybe it's my light. I just feel it's like probably mine. Mind. Cause like my my light in my living room is like kind of dull. We use the light in your face. <sighs> All right, that's better. Ready? Mhm. Mm okay. I do re remember you. You remember me? Cause you dated a, a celebrity. Unfortunately. What celebrity you say you dated again? Saying it. Wait, say it again. Who? I'm not saying it. Is that okay? That's fine, but. Be because the sure. last live you told me you told me don't mention it. But hold on, girl, you gotta get the camera in your face. So we got a lot going on now. I'm about to get the last live you told me not to mention it. Okay, but you did though. I think at the end. Yes, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, you, you were a highlight though. Okay, Brianna, honey, put the camera in your face. Stop moving. I need you to get it together. You about to frustrate the hell out of me. Your hair looks fine. You here now. All right. So all what right. you want to do? You can't keep moving. Bring the camera down, girl. Down, down more so we can see your face. How do I move the how do I move the comments? Wipe it to the side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here's the now, now I know it takes a lot of courage to come on the show. Okay, so let's start there. And if you don't have the courage, I respect that. But once you push that button, child, be ready. We ain't got time for all this hoopla or hoppla. I see why when people get older, they be making up words. Because there ain't an English language sometimes for some of the shit that you want to say. I understand why grandmas got words we never heard of. Because y'all will make a person create a word with your shit going on. Rinse it around and move it around and shit. Keep the camera steady so we can see your face. Now, I remember her because she dated a, a, I don't know who the rapper was. I forget the name, but it was some rapper. I guess she didn't want to talk about it. That's fine. But, girlfriend, that's the first thing we're going to talk about. You the one that told me. Remember, I only know stuff about you that you tell me because I don't know you until you call me. And when I answer the phone, I ask you a question, you give me the information. Now, there's some stuff I wish I would keep to yourself. But if you're going to share it, I'm going to ask the details. I'm no but you got to give me a reason to be nosy, okay? Oh, wait, maybe she got disconnected. Let's see if she back. Let me see if she back. She in my, she's in my queue again. Did you get disconnected oh, I didn't mean by accident or did you hang up? It was by accident. Oh, I thought you hung up. Yeah, no, Brianna, no. you got your stuff together? Yeah, I got my stuff together. All right. This is the best light we have. We have to see your face, Brianna, honey. You're frustrating me. Can you see me? But you got your move. A lot. It's like just bring the camera down. You can't see me. Yeah, I need you to bring the camera down, honey. Okay. Listen to these directions. Do you have lights? Is this the best light you have? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's, let's just start here. Brianna, I can't, I'm here not glammed up. I can't. My I don't got a ring light. I'm in my house. It's like 8:45 p.m. here. Okay, but you have a bathroom light. You called me before. You had nice light. I work with this, but it's always in the person's best interest to have the best light. So we can see your okay. face. So do you want to, I need you to bring the camera down and stop worrying about the comments so much. You already, you caught us, Brianna. You're here now. Okay. Okay. So Brianna, Baltimore 28, part-time phlebotomist. Do you have any kids? Two. How old are your two kids? 10 and 11. 10 and 11. And both by the same man? No. Um, why, oh, you're not, okay. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. Okay. Brianna, I see a lot of your ceiling. So I'm trying to have you in the frame. 
So I keep asking you, yes, you want to have I don't your... know why you can't see me. Maybe I can't, uh, maybe can't see like you, but I don't want to see your ceiling. So if you stay right here, this okay. is good. Okay. Brianna, I want you to be confident. Okay. You caught me up. So exude. You the don't confidence. think I'm confident? Not at all. I think you're oh, nervous. Okay. I think you're worried about the comments. I think you're I'm not. Hot. Okay. So we're focused. You focused? I'm hosting the show. No, I'm, I'm asking you because you, because you stand up look like I'm nervous. I just was asking you. You're definitely giving me nervous and um, uh -huh. worried about the comment section vibes. Okay. All right. So we, are we past that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. So, so Brianna Baltimore 28 is a Gemini, part-time for blindness, mom of two kids, uh, by two different men. Have you ever been married? Never. Okay. All right. So you were here before. You don't got to give the details of who you dated, but what was... Do you have an update from the last time? Um, yeah, I have an update from the last time. I felt like a lot of the people that did DM me, they wasn't like my, like, I don't know, like my go-to, like my type. They were a lot of older men. And I'm 28. Like, a lot of them was, like, maybe in, like, their early 40s. I went, I met one other person. He's actually, you guys know each other. So, we met, what? like, Drew. Oh, okay, first of all, there's somebody lying saying that they once dated me and they ain't never dated no. me. Oh, he's like a friend of yours. You know, you have a lot of like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I have people. a lot of friends. Who said they know me? He knows. What the actually, actually, um, he's, I guess he watches your show or something well, he, like that, but. But how does he know me? It's because he watched my show. Don't mean he know me. I mean, like, I'm not going to say like, I don't know y'all personal relationship. I don't know I personal like relationship have... either. What's the name? You you come over here and spill tea. Say the name. It's not tea. It's just, it's just an update. It's well, not said, tea. It's just an update. Somebody knows me, so I'm curious to say who He's a tattoo me. artist. We'll just go there. He's a tattoo though. He's a tattoo artist. Okay. What is his name? I don't know if I think I want to say You think I should say it? I mean, you said that somebody Four. knows me, so I want to confirm that I know them back because Here's the Four. reality. People are lying. Some people are lying oh. and saying that they know me in real life. I don't think he's saying he dated you or anything. But hold on, no, but I'm, this is why I'm trying to understand. This is why I'm asking you who it was. But I want to get this clear. A lot of people, there's people using my name for fake podcast interviews. That's not oh, me. Okay, there's okay. a guy that literally is getting girls from my show, and I don't want to make him more famous, but he says oh, that he once I dated me. He's a promoter. Never met this man a day in my life. So when you tell me someone said, when you, when you say to me, oh, you know this person, I want to confirm if I really know this person. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. So that was why I said, who's the person that says they know me? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, it wasn't like, it wasn't nothing like that for sure. We can't see your face again, Brianna. What's going on? It wasn't nothing like that for sure. Okay, but now, now you started something. You said somebody's talking about me as they know me. So I want to know who's the person that said that they know me. I said it, but you still, like, I literally said it, and they're saying it in the comments. I said the okay, name, you, but I wasn't the saying it in the, like, the sense of, what I'm saying is it wasn't saying it, like, in the sense of, like, they, like, the person knew you, like, they dated you or something like that. I just saying that they know of you, like, they, he said, like, when we were communicating, like, he's seen the show, like, he's seen me on the, um, on the platform. Okay, that's, show. like, he watches your show. Okay, that's cool. Cool. A lot of people watch my show. Maybe I missed it, but I thought you said I met somebody that knows you. Like no, like I, you meaning like knows knows like be on your live and stuff like that. You said you said the name. I missed it. Why not? Why don't you say it again? I said four. Oh, oh okay. I do know four. Okay. Four actually really is a real life friend. So that's a real life okay. friend in life. Okay. Shout out to four. He actually does know me. We are really good friends. He was on. Actually, I know all of the Black Ink Chicago. Cast yeah, so, so it wasn't T or anything. It just was like a genuine. Well, you made thing. it. Hold on, you made it more. No, you I think say the name, you, you made it more. A no, thing. I was trying to. I was literally just trying to be straightforward, but you went all the way to a whole nother thing, and I'm just like, it wasn't that. It wasn't like. Yeah, well, and I, I gave you the backstory of the reason why, because actually, I thought first. It was this guy who's been lying to women on my show who oh, was a okay. promoter saying he once dated me. I never even met this man. And a girl sent me, and I, I was going to make a whole post about this man, but I was like, that's what he wants. He wants attention. But one of the girls sent me a, a literally a voice recording of him saying, yeah, me and Kendra J. I I was like, what? I don't even know oh, this that's man. So bogus. that's who I that's thought crazy. you were talking about. But okay, no, we, that's we, crazy. We, yeah, so we passed that. So Brianna, again, bring the camera so we can see your face, honey. You look pretty, so I want Thank you to you. stay in the frame. So, okay, we got past that. So four, so was there any more updates? 
No, that was it. I just feel like my dating life is just so like poor. Like I don't know. I'm 28. I I attract I attract a lot of older men for some reason, and I don't want that. Like I want somebody that's on the same level as I am. Like I really doesn't matter how much money a man has because within my 28 years of living, no matter what, no matter what amount of money a person has made. I feel like you have to be genuine. That's what I want. I want a genuine person. You can be a trash man. You can make $150 million. As long as you're you're pure hearted and you're kind and you're loyal. Again, I have children, so I love children. If you can be good around, you know, just children, just a genuine, loyal person. That's what I'm looking okay. for. Okay. All right. So that's what you desire. What are your deal breakers? I feel like my deal breakers is someone like, I really don't like, a person is not like understanding, like logical. I feel like, and with this generation that we're living in, a lot of people are not logical. They date for stability. They date for just like the image of it. And I feel like I once, I think my, my biggest deal breaker with men is just not being, like I said, like not being logical with life. Like, and being understanding, like I want a man to be an understanding, being pure, like don't have to lie about their past because I feel like your past defines you a little bit. I feel like I had that conversation with you before. I don't know if you remember the live. I think you were telling me that too. Like far as me coming on here and how I speak and what I what information I provide to you, I feel like that's that's a lot of times you just need to just live in the moment type of thing. Okay, so you say. And you don't want okay this is the deal breaker question mm -hmm. so i think i'm going to make sure i understand the point you're making so you're saying men don't live in the moment or you don't want to live in the moment no i want a, i don't i'm uh, i think i'm not going to say like it's to a certain extent i feel like i want a person to be, just be honest yes and live in the moment but just i don't know how, how to sum it up i feel like the last guy like the recent guys that i've been dating they're not in reality. Like they're stuck in like a fantasy world. Like they believe they gotta have a certain type of chick where like I work, I take care of my kids. So like I can't party every week and I can't be out. Like a person wants to date 24 seven is like, I feel like you have to be on the same type of path that I'm on. You get what I'm saying? Like for me to be 28, all I do is take care of my children. I go to work like on my spare time. If I'm not with my kids, like I just be wanting to just be at home, be out the way. Like it's really nothing out here, but like messy shit. And I, I'm not with that right now. Okay. So should he look a certain way? Huh? I said, it's, should he look a certain way? As long as he's well kept, clean. Like, you know, like I don't like a guy to have like his pants low, be low beneath like the butt area. Like just clean and be uptight. Okay. Let's um before we get there, should mm -hmm. he make a certain amount of money? Um, enough. I feel like enough, enough is a certain amount of money for me. I, as long as you have a job, you have a stable job where you can take care of yourself, at least. Yes. I feel like long as you're able to take care of your responsibilities. Um, and that's just what in life in general, you can't date. I don't feel like a woman has to go for a guy that has a bunch of money. And a, a lot of these men that will have a bunch of money, they don't have a good heart or they feel like because they have money, they can do whatever they want to, to you. So no. Okay. Um, he doesn't have to have make 150 as long as he has a stable job that he can be able to take care of his responsibilities and whatever other necessities that he may have. Like, yeah. Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. Oh, shoot. Kendra. <laughs> Don't be mad because I swear to, I swear I wasn't <laughs> prepared. I just came on here. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Give me a second. You mind if I sit the phone down really fast? No, go ahead. You can. Okay. I'm gonna turn this light on. Oh, here goes the light. Yep. I'm going to find something to sit the phone up with. Don't kill me, Kendra. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't kill me, Kendra. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. 
I just got off of work and I had took my pants off. But can you see me? Okay. All right, we can see you. We, I mean, we see you like we, we get adjust. We get me a second. Huh? Hello. Can you see me? Yes, we can see you. Yeah. Okay. This is me. All right, we got you. This is better light too. That's all I was trying to tell you. <laughs> you can see me. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. I just got off, I just got home and get home from work, so. No, you're fine. You're fine. So, Brianna, Baltimore. When was your last relationship? Mm, girl. I don't know. Last real relationship? I don't know. I can't call it. Okay. Well, you can't call the last time somebody was your boyfriend and you were there. No, I have not been in a real relationship in a very long time. So, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. Excuse me. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Oh, last time I was intimate with someone. I don't know, maybe like two months ago? Two months ago. Okay, is that guy an option? Is he an option? No. No, mm -hmm. okay. Um, three flaws you have to work on. Um, three flaws I have to work on. I feel like being in my head a lot. I think I feel like I overthink a lot of things. Um, I can overly talk sometimes. And maybe, like you said, at me like my confidence and not like being so like overly talk I guess overly talkative overly talkative okay so I that's like one flaw I express myself too much okay like too soon okay so you think you share okay maybe share a lot yeah share a lot okay so that's one do you have two more or no um no, really. No. Yeah, that one flaw. Yeah, I think that's that. That's the only flaw. I think. I mean, just overly sharing. Um, what other flaw do I really have? I think I body shame myself a lot. So I, okay. I feel like I should stop body shaming myself. Okay. Cause like two years ago, I was like one fourteen, and I have gained a lot of weight. I'm like one eighty one now, and I'm five seven, and I feel like. I'm like huge. So you're five. You're five seven right now. Yeah, that's I'm five seven. Yes, and, you and said I'm one eighty one. Oh, you used to weigh one eighteen. I used to weigh one fourteen, like like two years ago, like one fourteen. Okay, so now you're saying you body shame because you gain weight. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm like really huge. Okay, okay. I don't know how much you weigh now. You didn't no, look I'm really saying, I weigh one eighty one. Oh, one eighty one, and you mm -hmm. are five seven. Yes. Okay. Okay. I mean, that some people will say yes, that is big. Some people will say you look good. I think it's relative, but some people probably would call it. I mean, it's weird, you know, because you are five seven, so one eighty one is gonna look different on five seven than it would like me on a five. I'm five three. I mm -hmm. Five three. I'm either five three or five four, but either way. Okay. So why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Brianna? A guy would be lucky to be with me because it's just like I'm Brianna. I'm so like. I feel like I'm so like very genuine. I feel like what you get the first time is who I am. I'm honest, I'm loyal. Um, I'm a Gemini, so we have about 20 different personalities. So it takes a lot to really deal with me. <laughs> but yeah, anybody would be lucky to have me. Like, I don't know. I, just, I feel like for me to be 28, I've been through a lot and I have a very strong mind and I know what I want. But like you said, I need to be a little bit more confident on knowing where I want to be right now and set my life. Okay. Because I want I don't want to be 30 and not have a plan and not be married. And I have like the how the ideal, you know, coming home to my family and my husband. What's your what's your Gemini? Oh, you just turned 28 this year. So you yes. want to be married within the next two years. I really do, yes. I wanna settle down, get me you think it can happen, Kendra? I mean, that's too soon. It can happen. God, I mean, God is, I'm not God, so I don't ever like to say nothing can happen. Um, anything can happen. Mm. I mean, you would, I mean, the way it would work is you would, ideally you would meet somebody soon and then y'all could date all the way of next year when you're 29 and then get married at 30. It's not the, mm -hmm. it's not impossible. Okay. But I think, hopefully, bring the camera down. Um, I think so. Let me ask you. You said a lot of older men reached out to you. What's the age range you want to date? Oh, 
I think the age, so I'm 28, maybe between 25 and maybe like 30 something, maybe like 33. 33. I think this though, because you have two older kids, right? Yes. Well, not older, a 10 year old, 11 year old. 10 and 11. 10 and 11. So you're 28. So your age range, 25 to 33, mm -hmm. unless they already have kids, that might be a turnoff to them because they might oh, yeah. want somebody that they can start a family with that's trying to get married, right? Bring the camera down so I can see your face. So they, so they might, 25 to 33, unless they already have kids and they're ready to get married, that's one thing. But I'm assuming men in that age, that age range may not have kids. And if they're, mm -hmm. we're talking about men that want to get married. They may not have kids, so they might be seeking a woman, A, to have their kids, and then if they don't have kids, they also got to have enough money in their mind to take care of you and provide for your two kids, because any man that marries you ultimately has to kind of provide for your children, too. So I think this is why you get older men reaching out to you, because, I mean, you're an attractive girl, so a 45-year-old man may have already had children, not really trying to have no more. Um, might be established time. enough in his income to not be turned off by you and you know you coming along with two kids too so i think this is why you're attracting older guys probably because they have to be able to afford to take care of you and your two kids but yeah yeah i feel like i know i don't want to keep going but like i feel like when so that like i said the guys that are attracted to me they're a lot older they feel like I have like an older demeanor to me. I don't know, but they are worse. They're horrible. At, at 41, how do you not have your shit together, you know? Like, it'd be horrible with these men. And it's like, for me to be 28, to have my own house, you know, I work and I take care of my kids. Like, these guys don't even be wanting that. Like, they just be wanting women to just accept them. I'm just not accepting. When I speak of like the bare minimum, I want a man to know my worth as well as I know my worth. And the bare minimum of, like, just accepting anything. Oh, you cheat on me, and just because you buy me something, it's okay. Absolutely not. Oh, I get that. I get that. I think you know? what you have to understand, though, too, this is why I think everybody should really write down the type of person they're looking for. This is not just for okay. men, women, too. And then once you have that type of list of the guy you were looking for or woman you're looking for, you should learn that person's wants. And I think what your blocker might be is because you want to get married. So yes. this is a man with a marriage mindset. I'm not talking with a boyfriend mindset or a playing around, having sex with you mindset. They don't care about nothing. They just there for a short time for a good time. Right. But if a man is willing to align life with you, he has to consider you and your two children. Yeah. So that is going to turn some men off, just not all men, but mm -hmm. there are going to be some men who are capable who might walk away from that just from that factor. So you really got to learn the type of guy you're describing so you can understand more of his wants and do you fit it? And does it fit you? Right. Okay. So you think I should write it down? Like do like huh? a little vision? You think I should write it down and do like a little vision board or something? Like you could, listen, you could do vision boards. I believe in manifestation. All of that. But I think the biggest thing y'all need to do is learn the person y'all say y'all want. Because mm -hmm. that's the part everybody skips. Like, I know who you say you want, but you got to learn that person and figure out what they want. And then be honest, am I what they want? Because do that's you... the... Go ahead. No, go ahead. You go ahead and finish. So I think that's the disconnect. The disconnect is um, people always speak what they want, and that's fine. And I actually do believe in that, right? So... I'm not walking away from that. But to close the deal and have a result, you need to learn that person. And then be honest with yourself and say, do I fit what they want back? Mm. And that's why I was saying, like, I like your age range, but 25 to 33, I don't know how many 25-year-old men that are going to want to sign up. I mean, you're a ready-made family. You have a 10-year-old. Uh, yeah, year but like a lot of these young people, they having kids now, Kendra. Younger but than that. What, Okay, they're having kids and they're not marrying their baby mamas. No. Right? We're not talking about those. We're talking okay. about marriage-minded men. I'm not talking about the men who are just procreating and not trying to marry the woman they had kids with. Okay. We're talking about a man who wants to get married because you said you want to get married, right? Yes. So there's a different mindset. The guy who wants to just sleep with you, 
don't care about nothing but your vagina, okay? He don't care where you work. I wish I could he don't just care lock it up kids. and throw it away. But, 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 but I'm saying, he don't <laughs> care about your work. He don't care about your kids. Are you pretty? You got good coochie? Okay, let's close this deal. He's not thinking, I'm trying to sign up for life with you. I'm right. talking about, and that's a different mindset. Those men come a dime a dozen. What you said is you want a man with a marriage mindset, mindset. as in he's seeking a wife, he's ready to provide, he's ready to join life with you. That's a different mm -hmm. guy. So I'm saying a 25 year old guy who's ready for marriage, I think potentially he has to make enough money. I mean, you have a 10 year old, 11 year old in you, right? right. So unless he's very well off, and I'm assuming if he's very well off, he might have a lot of female options. So I just think that age range, which is your age range. Mm -hmm. And then you have you think that was, you think that was you think that was my age range? Well, you're 28. Okay. So that's your yeah. age range. I mean, that's okay. the age that you are in. Mm -hmm. Your two baby daddies, you couldn't marry either one of those? Yeah, sure. One of my baby daddies is deceased. Oh, okay. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Okay. Um, my other child's father we were in a relationship but it was very like i went through a lot of domestic violence stuff um but i outgrew that um i met like again i had my kids that while i was in you know high school so even with that i feel like he has 10 kids now when Which i met, uh my my son father he has 10 kids which, now. So which, since, which child is this this is uh my youngest which is the the, the 10 year old yes he has 10 kids now so when i first met him um he only had one so like <laughs> you know things change like you know and even when i met him he was a very good father he still is a good father he does his part um you know in life you know as you grow up again when i met him in high school you change so like whatever he do far as my son he's a very great father but i let whatever in the past between us because we were young and I didn't really we we didn't know what love was we didn't know like you get what I'm saying and I was still trying to find myself I feel like I never take him being a father like he's a good father to his child okay okay so those are our options okay well let's see what it does Brianna are you on the Kendra G singles dating app no okay you have to download the app honey and create okay. your profile do you have a nickname I'm quite sure Brianna's taken so like um my nickname they call me like Brianna B. So like I just got like Brianna and then like a B. Like Can you spell it for me, babe? B R I A N A dot B. Okay, make that your username. Okay. All right. So we have an iPhone or an Android phone? I have an iPhone. Okay, go to the app store, mm -hmm. type in Kendra G singles and download the dating app. All right. And then just you know, I'm scared, Kendra. I ain't never do that before. I ain't never done well, that. That's the way that app. the guy can reach out to you now, honey. Okay, okay. so go to Kendra G to the dating app and just download it. Do I do profile? Should I do background checks first? You can do whatever you desire. I gotta go. I love you so much. All right, love so you too. Your profile. That's where the Please. guy can reach out to you. Okay. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> All right, bye, baby. Bye, baby. I'm bye. about to go to um. It's, ooh, I'm about to go to. Instagram, but I did want to respond to some of the cousins who felt like in the beginning when she said somebody was talking about me and I was going hard like, well, who is it? Uh, for those who did not understand why I was going so hard to figure it out, kiss my ass. That's all I want to say to you before I went to Instagram. Kiss my black ass. And let me tell you why I'm telling you to kiss my ass for those cousins who don't understand. You're not me, okay? You're not me, so you don't have to deal with people speaking upon your name to other people and making up lies that you know are extremely false. So once you're in a position when people literally are making up stories about your name to get women, then you'll be able to relate. And until you, and you can't relate to it right now, that's why you didn't understand why I was big on what was the name. So for those who thought I was going so hard Kiss my ass. If, if I knew how to say it in Spanish, mira, posa, cata. Take how you want to say it. I say it in pig Latin. It's the ca, why my ass a a. If I knew, knew how to say it in Chinese, I would say it in Chinese too. Are we clear? 
Hopefully that helps you understand. This. Kendra G Singles, the dating app is available now on your iPhone and your Android phones. Just go to your Apple store or your Google Play store and download it now. Kendra G Singles, the dating app.